is the following function even f of x equals x to the power of 2 plus 2. Again, welcome to hdtvedu.com, direct and simple education in seconds. Here, you see us constructing the solution. So let's start with f of x is equal to x squared plus 2. For a function to be even, when we replace x with negative x, there should be no change for the output. And the output is y y is equal to f of x and that is equal to x squared plus 2. What happens when we replace x with negative x? So in the space occupied by x we put negative x and see what happens. When we replace x with negative x and because negative x is within parentheses this is as good as x squared plus 2. What this tells you is this it does not matter whether x is positive or negative. The y value remains the same. For example, when you put x equals 1, when you put x equals 1, what do we get? 1 to the power of 2 plus 2, and that is 1 plus 2, and that is equal to 3. So 1, 3. When you put x equals negative 1, negative 1 to the power of 2 plus 2, and that is 1 plus 2, and that is 3. As you can see, when you change 1 to negative 1, the output is 3. When you put x equals 2, 2 to the power of 2 plus 2 is plus 2 and that is 6. So the point is 2, 6. When you put x equals negative 2, negative 2 to the power of 2 plus 2 and that is again 4 plus 2 and that is 6. So negative 2 also has 6 as the output. So this function is even. It is going to be symmetric about the y-axis. We are given the function f of x equals x squared plus 2. For a function to be even, when we replace x with negative x, there should be no change. The graph has to be symmetric about the y-axis. And that's what we see, so the function is even. When you put 0, when you put x equals 0, you get 0 plus 2, and that is 0 squared plus 2, and that is 2. So what is our point? Our point is 0, 2. When we put x equals 1, 1 to the power of 2 plus 2, and that is 1 to the power of 2 is 1, 1 plus 2 is 3. So we get 1, 3. When you put x equals negative 1, we get negative 1 to the power of 2 plus 2, and that is again 3. So when we replace 1 with negative 1, the y value is still 3. When we put x equals 2, 2 to the power of 2 plus 2, and that is 6. So our point is x equals 2, y equals 6. When we replace 2 with negative 2, it is negative 2 to the power of 2 plus 2, and that is 4 plus 2, because negative 2 times negative 2 is positive 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. So you again get negative 2, 6. So when we replace 2 with negative 2, the y value remains the same at positive 6. So let's plot this on a graph paper. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, negative 8. Negative 1, negative 2, negative 3, negative 4, negative 5, negative 6, negative 7, negative 8. 
All right, when you put x equals 0, you get 2. 0, 2. When you put x equals 1, we get 3. 1, 3. When you put x equals negative 1, you get 3 again. When you put x equals 2, you get 6. So, 2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. When you put x equals negative 2, you get 6. So, as you see, we get a curve that is going to be symmetric about the y-axis. Again, you put wet paint on the side. And immediately you see that our function is symmetric. All right. And this is George Matthew signing off. Good luck.